began playing, the very first day we played was October 12th, 09, which was sadly his birth and death day. And uh, Anthony came in with that, with that uh, piece of information that we all sort of thought about when we picked up our instruments for the first time. And you know, there wasn't a plan to write that song or anything, but we just sort of played and you know, the chorus of that song, the sort of triumphant part of that song was, uh, it struck Anthony to sing about Brendan in a way and then, yeah, it, it made sense to sort of start that way after, after we heard what came out. It was kind of cool too, because it wasn't, I mean, obviously when someone that you care about a lot dies, it's, so, it's such a kind of poignant thing and it, it's like, you know, part like mourning and having this incredible sense of loss, but also a huge appreciation for them and who they were in your life and who they just were in the world and your own appreciation for life and how much to treasure. You know what I mean? Your priorities become so uh, apparent you know, when you're dealing with the death of a loved one. And, and uh, we had known Brendan for so long. Um, you know, he gave us our first gigs, and you know, and I marched into the lingerie with our demo tape, demanding that he hear it, and, and um, he didn't want to hear it. We had to kind of force him to listen. And he, and, and he was like, oh, it's pretty good, you know? <laughs> he like, gave us a gig opening for the Bad Brains at lingerie, which was awesome, you know? And, and just knowing him, like having breakfast with him and hanging out for, with him for all those years, and always talking about music, and, he had such a wide range of interest in music, and and we were working on a project with him right at that time too, you know, and, and uh, yeah, and but but at the same time we didn't like let's write a song about Brendan or anything. It just came forth, you know, it was very natural and organic.